Now, the vast majority of passengers are probably blissfully unaware that every time they fly out of France and 11 other countries, they pay what's known as a micro-levy on their tickets. The one euro payment is part of an innovative fundraising method aimed at reducing child mortality and combating malaria and other major diseases in some of the poorest parts of the world. In just eight years, it's raised more than £2.5 billion. Pounds. Uh, Philippe Douste Blaise is the man behind the scheme. He's the United Nations Secretary General Special Advisor on Innovative Financing for Development and was the first chairman of the financing mechanism Unitaid. Philippe, how did this go down with the, uh, the airlines when you first proposed it? So it was in 2006 and I was Minister of Foreign Affairs in France. And with President Chirac in France and President Lula in, 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 in Brazil, we decided to, to take one, to add one euro per plane ticket, it's painless for the state, painless for the companies, and for the traveler, it's one euro, it is not the price of a coffee. So everybody at the beginning was, you know, left and it was not very easy for me to convince. So now 12 countries, only 12 countries accepted to implement this uh, mechanism. And we raised, as you said, more than $2.5 billion. So with this money, we um, finance programs to treat 355 million treatments for malaria, 7 million for tuberculosis, and in 2011, for example, 8 out of 10 children with HIV were treated thanks to this small idea. So what I want to tell you that it is possible to change the world if we take a microscopic solidarity contribution from globalized activity. And you'd like to extend this into other areas such as extractive industries, for example. Yes, for example, the 27th or the 28th of September in New York, in um, so, uh, next days, we are going to launch Unit Life, it's an international body based on 10 cents per barrel of oil. And I, I found um, four or five African heads of state to do, to implement that. So this is solidarity, South, South solidarity to fight against malnutrition. Because malnutrition uh, has a lot of cerebral consequences. Indeed. Now, you've just been over in Lampedusa, which is where a lot of uh, refugees have been arriving. Yeah. I think we can see some footage of, of this. I mean, th this has presumably hardened your determination to, to really step up the fight against poverty. But I, I just wonder what you make of the EU's current stance on the migrant crisis. We see some pretty horrifying pictures this afternoon of a toddler washed up on a beach in, in yes. Turkey. We have the short-term policy and we have the long, middle or long-term policy. For the short term, it's very difficult and I can understand. But if we want to avoid these migrations for our children in 5, 10, 20 years, we have to fight extreme poverty. So innovative financing, the, the new sources of finance we spoke about a few minutes ago, it is for that. Because we have to give, to provide, drinking water, food, sanitation, health and education for each human being in the world. So if we do that, we can change the world. If not, you know, millions of people are going to try to escape from extreme poverty to come here. Okay, Philip Dusplaisy, we have to leave it there, but thanks very much for joining Thank us. You.